Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. There is a very, very interesting move going on in iron ore, and so it should be. If you haven't seen that over the last week, what has been going on in Beijing is now actually finally moving markets the way they should be, and that is that iron ore is on the way down. GDP is expected in China to be at 5% for this calendar year, and probably going to hold that in 25 and 26. That also means to get there, they're going to have to stimulate, but it's not the kind of stimulus that we've seen in the past. And it's certainly not at a level that would really drive iron ore prices higher. Because what we also saw out of China over the weekend, particularly, was that stockpiling of steel is getting back to pre-COVID levels when it was already very high, but the iron ore price was in double figures, not in triple figures, per US dollar per tonne. And I think that is the standout. The fact that you've now seen the iron ore price fall over 11.5% and falling further still is what BHP, Rio and FMG have been warning for a while, that they have known that this was coming and it's now here. If you have a look at Rio, BHP and FMG since the start of the year, all of them are down double digits. Even some of them, Fortescue for example, is down almost 20%. That's bear market territory. Now, caveat to that, do not forget from the March 2020 low to the top of where they got in November, BHP, Rio up over 40%. You look at Fortescue, for example, 191% since that time. So there is a caveat to suggest that a pullback is healthy, even a bear market, inverted commas, is healthy. But the question therefore goes forward. We're talking about cyclical companies in cyclical markets with cyclical issues. And are we now going past the peak and are heading to the downside of that cycle? That is the question I think you need to ask in the big mining space.